age 25, weighing in 145 pounds, standing five foot seven with a 69 inch reach. On the other side, we have Chris McDonald, 30 years of age, 145 pounds, five eight with a 70 inch reach. And to Andy. Ladies and gentlemen, prepare yourselves for the next fight of the evening, an amateur mixed martial arts competition at the featherweight division, scheduled for three rounds, three minutes apiece. Introducing to you first, in the red corner, with an amateur record of 0-2. He stands five feet, seven inches tall, and he weighed in at 145 pounds. From Bronx, New York, He's representing Go USFC. Let's hear it for Josh Telemaki. And now introducing his opponent, standing across from him in the blue corner with an amateur mixed martial arts record of one victory and one defeat. He stands five feet, eight inches tall, and he weighed in at 145 pounds. From Abington, Massachusetts, he's representing South Shore Sport Fighting. Let's hear it for Henny Chris Mick. And when the action begins, our referee for this contest is Alan Lau. Big pop there for Chris McDonald, making his return to the cage for the first time in a long time. Yeah, the hometown crowd's backing him big time. I'm sure he's excited to be back in there. The referee's Brian Miner, sorry. We got to tell him a few smiling over here. All right, here we go. First MMA fight of the night. Both fighters take the center of the cage. Telemaki with an uppercut after the shot. And a big shot. McDonald went right in for that shot. You can tell he wanted to get this fight to the ground immediately. Telemaki is, oh man, real sporadic right now, but he's stuck in a mount. Full mount, trying to get his legs up. He seems to, oh, there we go. He's looking to get out. Push off the cage. McDonald moves to side. Trying to control position. You're gonna see McDonald just try to slow things down. Tell McHugh he's, he's moving around a lot, but he doesn't seem to be completely comfortable on his back. Has anybody really? Not quite. <laughs> now, Damian Maya? Yeah. Probably name a few. He's, uh, he's trying to walk towards the hips and trying to find an escape for his upper body, but Chris McDonald just staying persistent with that top pressure, not giving any room for Telemachy to escape. Telemachy needs to dig for that left underhook if he wants to escape this position. McDonald's staying heavy. He's controlling that arm now. He's kind of almost got him in a crucifix position, laying down some ground and pound. Tell me cues. He's, he's uh, tired himself out a little bit, I think. A lot of wasted energy when he hit the ground. Yeah, McDonald right now just heavy in that side control. It's and he's a brutal he's, spot to be in. He's happy to sit here. Now that crucifix in full form for Chris McDonald. Oh yeah, if he can't move, if he can't move, this fight's gonna get called. He can't, yeah. yep, there it is. Can't intelligently defend yourself. That's the end of the fight. First round TKO for Chris McDonald's return. McDonald, he wanted to get to the ground immediately. Tell McHugh threw some big punches. He was dangerous there for a second. McDonald got him to the ground. Tell McHugh did his best to move right away. That was his one chance to get out, but once McDonald settled in, he just laid on him like a wet blanket, let him tire himself out, advance position, finish the fight. Yeah, McDonald clearly knew that he was going in against a striking heavy game plan. Knows that he's got the wrestling chops in his back pocket at all times. Stuck to the game plan, executed it flawlessly, get that first round TKO with some old school vicious ground and pound. The crucifix, that's a bad place to be. Oh, a terrible place to be, you know, when you got a guy that's your exact same weight right on top of you and both your arms are pinned, that's a brutal spot to be in. And, you know, the referee sees that, they're gonna stop it quick. And McDonald being a wrestler, you could see how heavy he was with his whole body. He pressed him right to the ground. So much pressure on top. Absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen, keep it going for these two warriors. 
Referee Brian Miner has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute 41 seconds of round number one. Giving you your winner by TKO, Henny Chris McDonough!